Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to import data from an Excel file, which I have here. And I'll get that data into a SharePoint site, which I have here. If you've watched my other demos, you've probably seen that I have several different ways of importing Excel data using Access, using Excel alone. But here I am going to use a PowerShell script. And the benefit of doing that is that it will be very reusable. Also, this SharePoint list generator that is part of the tools offering on my website creates a content type. And of course, it can import data also. So that's what I'm going to show now. And the data I'm going to be working with, let's close this one for now. I don't want to save that. All right. It's a list of our tips. So we were working with them in Excel, but now we want to work with them in SharePoint, of course. So what I want to do is simply do an import of this table into SharePoint. So let's start that. First of all, we need to take the URL of the site. So I'm just going to copy that, control C, and then I'm going to put paste that here in the SharePoint site URL. And the group name is just going to be article management. Clear, and that's the group for the content type, of course. And the content is going to be tip article. And the list name is going to be tips articles. All right. Now, of course, we have a title in this new list. The other columns, I'm just going to copy and paste from here. I'm going to keep the title. The other ones, I'm just going to do shift, control, right. There we have all of these. Control C to copy them. And then just in a new tab here, I'm going to paste them. I'm going to go into paste special and choose transpose. Then I have all those columns there in the way I want them. So I'm going to copy that, control C again, and paste them in here. All right. So as you see, I've now created site columns based on all that. Uh, they've all defaulted to text and they've all defaulted to show in both the new edit and display form, which is uh, fine for the display, but not so fine here. The text, I want to do a plain text uh, note field. The main category should be text, subcategory, heading, should be text, keywords should also be uh, plain text note. There we go, note plain text. All right, and that's it. And then I can go ahead and copy all the data from this. And I'll just do from row two, of course, and control shift right all the way over there twice. All right, and then down. So now I have all the 481 articles. Control C on that. And then I will just put the cursor right there. Control V, paste. That looks about right. So down here now, we of course have the, the PowerShell script to create all of this. So I'm just going to copy that to the clipboard. And then we go into ISE. There we go, Windows PowerShell ISE. So we will paste the code there. And that all looks fine. So now I'll just run the script. And that logging screen is using my existing browser. So I'm already logged in. So I don't get any extra login screen there. Now it's creating all the site columns and it will create the list and start importing all the 481 rows of data there. Let's take a look at that. We can go into the site information and look at the view all site settings and look at the site content types. And there's the article management. And there's my content type the tip article right there. If I go into site contents now, you'll see that the tips article is there and there are 29 articles created already. Here's It's going on and creating those items. And uh, let's go in and check them out. And here they are, imported with the data and everything. And let's just take a look at it. And it looks like all the data got in there. So that is how you import data using the SharePoint PNP generator from an Excel file. Thank you for watching this demonstration.